with a massive new manufacturing plant covering 3 lakh square feet. This domestic EV manufacturer's goal is to electrify last mile connectivity with sturdy and dependable vehicles. And at the helm of operations are industry veterans with decades of expertise in the automotive sector. And the name of the company? Alti Green. India has seen an influx of electric vehicle startups, but Alti Green is not a new player. They've been in the industry for the past 10 years, but most of their time has been spent in R&D. And the result is a new facility here in Karnataka. We've been invited by the team to take a look at how their electric three-wheelers are made. Alti Green recently moved to Malur, around 35 kilometers from its R&D center in Bengaluru, Karnataka. It has a yearly production capacity of 55,000 units, which translates to around 4,500 units a month, or approximately 130 to 150 units per day. Because most of its electric three-wheelers are assembled manually, Alti Green will soon migrate to a semi-automated setup to increase production. But the purpose of our visit was to understand how the electric three-wheeler is built. Now that we are in um, full electric vehicles, we decided that we will focus on commercial vehicles first. Cargo was our stepping stone. We looked at two-wheelers, three-wheelers, small commercial four-wheelers. We decided to focus on three wheels because we do feel three wheels have a lot that will happen in three wheels. They're very nimble vehicles and they're very good for India and the emerging markets. We are a made in India, made for India vehicle. True and true. A team of 700 were hand-picked from 70 institutes throughout the state, ensuring a gender balance in various production areas. In fact, the Electronics Components Department is fully operational, including supervisors, via a women-only team. We wanted to make sure that we make electric vehicles possible in our geography. And we realized that to make it possible, the first thing you need are the components the motors, the controllers, the electronics, you know, the gearboxes, the battery management system, the battery technologies, the software stack that runs through it. That is where Altigreen focused. Altigreen provides made in India vehicles that are 93% localized, a majority of which come from Karnataka. The only imported components are the electric batteries. For the time being, the Alti Green plant operates on a single assembly line. The first component attached to the metal frame is the electric motor, followed by the suspension, tyres, brakes and handlebars. The exterior panels are followed by the lighting system and eventually the touchscreen instrument console. There are more than 25 substations each with two or three persons working on them to ensure a smooth transition throughout the entire process. We also got to take a ride around the facility on the Alti Green NEEV. It has a 11 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery with an IP67 certification. The electric three-wheeler develops 11 bhp and 45 newton meters of peak torque translating to a 150 km range on a single charge. We started in 2013. We're almost close to our 10th anniversary, right? But in the process of getting here, we've done fundamental R&D in everything that is remotely electric in an electric vehicle. We've garnered 26 global patents that have been granted to us. Not applied for, not filed, granted to us. Alti Green has designed its own torque motors, chargers, both AC and DC, embedded software based on models, vehicle control unit, telematics enhanced by IoT, and a clutchless EV transmission. After the Malur plant, Alti Green intends to open four more factories in India, as well as one in the ASEAN region, increasing its workforce to 3,000 people by 2025. 
but for now the company wants to focus on domestic expansion while exports will begin only after 2024